argues post-democracy. Today, the 8th of May, 2019, 26.7 million South African citizens take to the polls to exercise their constitutional right and speak through the marking of an X against their party of choice. These national and provincial elections determine the power of rule among the political parties for the next five years. We visit and track voters in Durban's three voting stations and find members of parliament making their mark. Yes, as we speak, they are. They are. Uh, the, all provinces have soldiers. Have, at least have one company. The company is about 140 soldiers on the ground. Oh. But they are activated on two provinces. That is case at end. I'm, I'm told that some of them were in airport, but they were advised that airport seems to be fine and stable. They've moved. Uh, they, they only complement and supplement the police. They don't lead on these matters. But all other provinces do, except they are active KZN and Northwest. There are several places that uh, uh, we have found between four and six uh, police. Uh, low risk will, two, will be two, medium will be four, uh, and the high risk will be, will be uh, six. We have found that, but up to this point, nothing has threatened the stations per se, except that one area that has been giving a lot of concern was uh, a place called Ndwe Dwe. At Lewe, uh, I'm told the things are running very smooth. They met uh, Sunday. Everybody agreed that they'll go and vote there. I'll be going there. Let me comment. Uh, IEC looks like stations. Really, they try their best to open on time. The EFF's Marshal Lamini cast his vote at Otlangi High School. I'm Cassia Kulu for Connect Politics and Unions Sector News, Durban.